Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this circuit, and in this circuit we have been given that the step down transformer and the diode in the circuit are the ideal diode. That means here the forward voltage drop of the diode is equal to zero. So here the input to the circuit is equal to 10 sine omega t, and here we have been given that the average value of the load voltage that is VL of t. Is equal to 2.5 divided by pi. So here we've been asked to find the value of the n. So let us see that. So if you see this circuit, then it is basically a center tip full wave rectifier. And if you see the output of this circuit, then it will look like this. So here this Vs of t is the input to the primary side. And here the turns ratio of this transformer is equal to n by 1. That means on the secondary side, if we see the output voltage. Then that is equal to Vs of t divided by n, and it will get divided between these two parts. That means here, if we see the voltage at this end, then that is equal to this Vs of t divided by 2n. And similarly, over here, this voltage will be equal to Vs of t divided by 2n. That means the overall voltage on the secondary side is equal to Vs of t divided by n. So let's say this voltage is equal to Vx of t. That is equal to Vs of t divided by 2n. And here we have been given that this Vs of t is equal to 10 sin omega t. So we can write this expression as this 10 sin omega t divided by 2n. Or we can say that this Vx of t is equal to phi divided by n times sin omega t. So let's say this voltage is equal to Vm. So we can say that this Vx of t is equal to Vm sin omega t, where this Vm is equal to phi divided by n. So this will be the voltage on the secondary side. And with this input voltage, if we see the average value of the load voltage, then for this full wave rectifier, this average value is equal to 2 Vm divided by pi. Or in this case, that is equal to 2 times this phi divided by n times pi. And here we have been given that this average value of the load voltage is equal to 2.5 divided by pi. So if we compare it, then this pi will get cancelled out and we will have this 10 divided by n that is equal to 2.5 divided by 1. Or we can say that this n is equal to 4. So we can say that for this center tape full wave rectifier, where the turns ratio of this transformer is equal to 4 gem 1 or the value of the n is equal to 4 and therefore for the given question this a is the correct answer